I spent 58 hours running bail 1,000 times in ladder. It took 68 runs to find something worth showing you, but this one was worth the wait. Oh, 15 ED Monarch. Fantastic. I ended up trading this for a low rune. Run 77 took me on an emotional roller coaster, and I promise, I checked some of those rares as well. <gasps> Spide Helm! This would be so good if it's Nightwings. Oh, Veil of Steel! Oh, Veil of Steel. Over the next 50 runs, I found two halfway decent mercenary helms. A V-Gaze that rolled 8 on the lifesteal, 15 on the DR, and an Andy's Visage that rolled 9 on the lifesteal, 131 on the defense, and 26 on the strength. That's pretty mid. Clocking in the first of many obnoxious gasps, I found an amazing set item on run 167. Oh, <gasps> yes! Tal's armor! Yes! Wait! That's, that's such high defense! That's three off perfect! 938! Yes! And another upgrade to my gear was waiting just around the corner. <gasps> a Rax! <laughs> what? <laughs> new armor, new belt, it's all coming up schmuck. 109 ED, that's not bad. Pretty good roll. Next thing we gotta do is upgrade this stupid Tarn Helm. On run 185, I found an ethereal man catcher. If I can manage to roll four sockets in this, then it'll be one of the ideal bases for the rune word infinity. And surprise, surprise, we got the four sockets, making this little sapsucker worth a roundabout of Vex rune. In case you couldn't tell, on run 267, I was delighted to finally get to take off that Tarn Helm. <gasps> Shaco! We finally got the upgrade to the Tarn Helm! Yes! Yes! First Shaco of the season! Oh, we're almost fully geared up. It's a glorious green hat right there. That is glorious! Yep. I could probably use one of these myself. Sporting a much more aerodynamic head, the next noteworthy drop came just four runs later. <gasps> Facet! Oh, a blue one! Okay, 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 okay. Please, 5-5 five, five cold. Oh. 3-3 three, three poison? Not even Chassie would eat that. Run 272 came with a surprise guest in the throne room. 10 on the XP? Oh, oh, oh crap! The next 100 or so runs granted me a Reaper's Toll that rolled 211.15, a 12% ED Superior Monarch, and an Arette's Face on run 368. Oh, oh! Four. 165. Well, I mean, we got the essence, so good run overall. I traded a lot of these essences for two to three keys so I could do bulk torch IDs and giveaways on livestream. One of the batches of 10 torches was so insane that I just had to highlight it here. It included a 1610 sorceress torch, a 2018 pally torch, a 2020 druid torch, a 1315 Sorceress Torch, a 1620 Necro Torch, a 1716 Sorceress Torch, an 1819 Sorceress Torch, and finally a 1518 Sorceress Torch that literally floored me. The drop on run 391 had every right to make me fall off my chair as well. Oh, Ami! Oh, Ma perfect Maris! 30 Maris! I've never found one of these that's been a good roll. This is my first Maris that's actually rolled well, and it's perfect! Oh, yes! Still riding the high off that perfect Maris, a bundle of loot came 27 runs later. Oh, ho, ho, whoa! Unique ring and enormous, 
and a godlike rare belt. Garbage. Fireball. And a dwarf. Wow. Fireball with 14 fire. I wonder if that's worth anything. Turns out it was worth at least a Vex rune because that's what I traded it for. Probably could have got a bit more for it too. On run 426, right as I was talking about how much of a chill stream it was going to be, well, this happened. Ooh, Grand Charm. Oh no! Shot! Wake the fuck up, boys! Lightning Skiller, 34 to life! Are you kidding me? This was meant to be a chill stream! What? I ended up trading this for a jar and a bear rune. Now all I need is that it. On run 458, I found a remarkably rare set item. Oh, Chris! Damn, dog! So this goes 3 to 4, and then it's up to 240 on the ED. We got the 4. <laughs> we got the 4. Man, I don't even know if people use these, but it's just nice to get the 4. With some more green coming on the very next run. Oh! Tal's armor! Holy moly! Grizz Caddy into Tal's armor. The next 50 runs granted me a 1% boost to magic find with this pair of chances and my first Oki of the season. But I'm now converted, so I decided to stick with my Death Fathom instead. Now over halfway, I had another chance to hopefully get a better roll on an Andariel's visage. 8, 138, 29. Damn! <laughs> Still a good find. Still a good find. And no one tell Mazan because I want to keep that cleansing aura. We'll just hide it from him. We'll just put it in there. Up to this point, there were seven items that I'd never found in Diablo. This was one of them. No, no, oh, ethereal. This is one of the items. This is one of the items I've never found. 52. I mean, it's a great roll, but it's also ethereal. We can finally cross this off the list. It's ethereal, but I'd say it still counts. It still counts. It's taken me 20 years to find it, so it counts. The five remaining items are Stormlash, Tyriel's Might, D-Web, a Cham Rune, and a Zod Rune. After finding my third Tal's Armor on run 544, there's not much for about two and a half hours worth of bail runs. The streak of bad luck was eventually broken with a new pair of shoes on run 584. <gasps> Battle boots! Yes! Yes! Oh, 36. Still an upgrade though. Still an upgrade. Oh, yes. The next 50 or so runs were absolutely littered with unique jewelry. Here are the highlights. Oh, another one. Oh, BK again! Number two! Ooh. Nature's piece again? Two nature's pieces. Oh, facet! Give me a 5-5. Five, five. Oh! <laughs> well, it's 5-5. Five, five. It's poison. But I'll take it. I'll take it. On run 670, I had another chance to snag myself a Nightwings. Oh, Spied Helm! Nightwings, Nightwings, Nightwings! Nightwings, yes! What a roll, 13 as well. 13 on the cold skill. Oh yes, the coolest looking hat in the game. Oh yeah. The next 100 runs granted me my second Aret's face that rolled 4 on the lifesteal, 184 on the defense. Halibird's Reign, that rolled 2 on the battle command, 1 on the battle orders, 153 on the defense. Tal's Weapon, as well as Trangle's Belt. And unfortunately, my second Veil of Steel. The third of three Shakos dropped on run 800. Oh, Shaco number three! Third Shaco 
three Talzamas, three Shakos, and five million Minals. Pull that up, Jamie. Oh no, Minald, Minald, Minald. I knew it. On run 842, I had another chance of finding that elusive Stormlash. We have another chance. I've never found a Stormlash. Oh no! Horizons again! Oh, I can't believe it. Are you sick of seeing these armors yet? I certainly hope not, because here's another. Oh no! Number four! Oh! Six defense off perfect! Six defense off perfect! And one more, just for good measure. Oh no! Number five! Oh! Two defense off perfect again! Two defense off perfect! Surely by number seven, then we get the perfect towels. Just gotta find two more. I never did find that perfect towels, but what I found next was actually more valuable. Check this out. I just sure it is. Man, this item just isn't that good, is it? Oh, <laughs> except for that one. I ended up giving this away, but was surprised to learn it was trading in the region of an Om to a low rune. With well under 100 runs to go, there were still three more incredible finds. Oh, another one? Oh, yes! Yes! It's that easy, folks. It's that easy. You just gotta run bail for 55 hours and 38 minutes. War boots. Not battle boots, war boots. Perfect! Perfect Gore Riders! I don't even know how much that's worth! I traded these for a Jar Rune. This last drop's a bit of a weird one. A 4 socket Sacred Taj with 62% enhanced damage and a bonus 105 to attack rating. The most recent trades for this exact shield was a Bear Rune, so it must be used in PvP or something. But if you know exactly why it's so valuable, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. And while you're there, please consider dropping a like. Thanks so much for watching.